God, our Father, we thank you so much that we could come before you uh, in this beautiful moment of sunshine. God, we just feel your presence upon this couple, upon Natalie and Jonathan. God, we just feel your spirit working through them. We just pray, God, for the unity of their marriage and the unity of our families. Celebrate the joyous times and support them in the challenging times. We offer them up to you and our families up to you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Fire. Jonathan and I have created so many memories over these years, whether it was watching movies, playing video games, playing on the trampoline and dressing up, making our own rules to games that we don't even know the rules of, but nothing will stand out more than the late night car rides we spent together. We would say the most stupid things, but solve the world problems in the same minute. I have this impossible goal of being the half the man that he's become, the most understanding, caring, welcoming, intelligent man he's become. I can see you tearing up. <laughs> Hello! Hi. Hi, beautiful. You look so nice. Thank you. I love it. Let me see. Turn around a little bit. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. You ready? I think so. You're going to get married. Yeah. <laughs> it's very exciting. How do you feel? So I want you to just know that I love you very much and I'm very proud of you working through everything you've worked through in life. And I'm so happy that Jonathan is your husband to be. And um, I just want you to know that we're not feeling like we're giving you away or you're not going to be part of our lives. Mm -hmm. It's just going to have a new focus. So yeah. we're still there for you and you're still here for us. And we're just really excited for him and you to start together. And we're really happy that you're marrying such a great guy because you deserve that. So love you and let's go do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Something you may or may not know is that every time I speak in front of people, I steal things. When I preach, I steal words from the Bible and commentaries. When I worship, I steal songs from others and praise from Scripture. So as I stand before you to make a promise to keep for the rest of our lives, it only seems right that I steal my words from the one who created us both. To do anything less than treat you as you were designed to be treated would be a sin against you and the one who created you. To promise anything different than what I'm instructed to do by the inventor of marriage would not only be wrong, but wholly unfair to you. Over six and a half years ago, I asked the Lord to bless me with a relationship with you, only if it was in his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And as we got to know each other, and you later asked me to be your girlfriend, I had no doubt that God's will was for me to one day be your wife. It's such an honor being your big sister. All those crazy stage days, I never ever would have guessed that my eighth grade sister at that time would have been able to share it with me. My favorite high school memory. You did cheer, you did soccer, all the things that your big sister was doing, but you have become so truly a genuine version of yourself, the best version and authentic person that you can be. So as we start this adventure unlike anything we've ever done, I promise to love you as Christ loved us and to beg forgiveness when I stray away. I can't wait to be your husband. I promise that I will always put you second. First, I'm committing to love the Lord my God with all of my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength. And then you come in. I will love you the second most and I will show you unconditional love to the best of my ability I tell and take my last breath here on this earth.
accordance with the laws of God in the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you. We may kiss you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, I have the pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Slat. Can you feel it? It's our time. Open your eyes. Hold your breath. Take a step. Here's a chance. Yeah. It's our time. It's our time. Feel it rise. Jonathan, I came home from college and I found a very changed sister. A grown up woman. I was 13 when she left, everyone, who was in love with a kind, gentle man. Thank you for loving Natalie in the way that you do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. She deserves a love like that every single day, and I know you do too. Oh, we're rising. It's our time. Jonathan and Natalie are the perfect definition of purity and passion. Being in the Slat family, we are taught to protect each other and love each other for who we care for. So Natalie, for my whole life, I will do everything to ensure your safety and comfort. Oh.